This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Lockley Flex Touch Fingerprint Deadbolt. It was sent to me by Dana in Monroe, Louisiana, and I'll start by saying that I love the way this looks. It's a clean design that keeps a traditional lock appearance, especially compared to many smart locks, which tend to be fairly obtrusive, almost like bolting your microwave control panel to your front door. In addition to fingerprint opening and the key, you can also link this to your smartphone via Bluetooth or your home's Wi-Fi network for remote access. The build quality is above average for these types of locks, though it really should be at this price point. The lock cylinder is a brass Schlage-style key and knob cylinder with six pins. Because it is a standard format, that cylinder can be swapped out for something higher security if that's what you need but let's see how pick resistant the included core is. We're going to use the SC4 Lishi tool, which is appropriate for the six pin Schleg keyway. I sell these over on covertinstruments.com. Let's insert it into the keyway, flip open in the tensioning lever, and then start on pin number one. Click out of one, click on two, nothing on three, Four is binding, nice click there. Nothing on five, click out of six. Nothing on one, another click on two. There we go, a little click on three, another click on four, nothing on five, another click on six. We're getting more than a few clicks on some of these pins, which leads me to believe we almost certainly have tapered or rounded key pins in conjunction with above average tolerances. Hang on two, little click out of three, and we got this open. Now, one of the things I love about these Lishi tools is that you can decode the lock after you open it. So this one is three, six, three, seven, eight, three. And if we look at the key, three, six, three, seven, eight, three. So I could take that information and cut a new key to this lock. Okay, folks, those rounded or tapered pins in conjunction with what seem to be above average tolerances seem to make this cylinder punch above its weight. To be honest, it's a fair bit better than I expected, though it's not going to slow down a competent picker for very long. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.